Hello guys, I'm Andre and welcome back to a new video in which we are going to talk about the Tough Dash F15 2022 edition. That's the laptop over there, which is screen se attached kar diya, so that you get this background tough edition wallpaper and everything without wasting any time let's get started first of all let's start with major specifications this laptop comes with intel's 12th generation intel core i5 12450h processor the higher end variants of this particular model will also give you i7 processor the the one which i have right now is the base model literally the base model with i5 processor and 3050 graphic card now the 3050 graphic card which is present inside the base model can go up to 75 watt 60 watt plus 15 watts of dynamic boost now there are going to be other variants such as 3050 ti 3060 3070 in the higher end variants now higher end variants will also get you i7 processor as i mentioned i have the base variant now this base variant also comes with 8 gb ram and that is ddr5 ram across all the tough laptops this year it is going to be ddr5 ram and that's a fantastic thing let me explain why because the, even though this one comes with single stick of 8 GB RAM, which is DDR5, it will act as dual channel. Yes, you heard me right. You do not need two sticks of RAM in order to get dual channel working with DDR5. Even single stick is more than enough. So when you have single RAM, you have dual channel. If you have two sticks of RAM, then it may work as quad channel memory as well. So that's the fantastic thing about DDR5 RAM and having 8 GB of RAM on this device may not be enough for everyone so yes you can upgrade to up to 32 gb of ram 16 gb each as there is 8 gb present right now you can add another 8 gb and get it to 16 gb very easily you do not have to replace anything else now the laptop comes with two pci 4.0 slots but still the laptop has pci 3.0 512 gb ssd now that's completely fine in my opinion because the difference between pci 3.0 and pci 4.0 i mean it's there there is a difference but i personally think that the workloads like gaming even editing 4k editing or uh, 1080p editing it's not going to utilize the pci 4.0 uh, slot completely so having pci 3.0 ssd and having lower cost is always always preferred by me personally SATA or PCI 3.0, always PCI 3.0, but PCI 3.0 against PCI 4.0. I'm completely okay with having PCI 3.0 SSD. Display is always the biggest talking point when it comes to tough laptops because Western media may bought bar as out the tough display ke eh, aise achhe nahi hote. But this this is a gaming laptop. So what's more important is having 1080p display, IPS panel, 144 hertz refresh rate display means that it is going to look very, very smooth, and that's the case with the tough dash F15. Now, if I talk about my real life experience even though this one comes with 62.5 percent srgb display if i look at the display like this in real life the display looks really good i do not have major complaints with the display uh, display quality the colors look good for a normal person who is going to do gaming these colors should be more than fine if you are a creator who is looking to edit videos color correct them I, I still think that this is more than just fine, but then you can look at other OLED options which ASUS already has with similar specifications that are there in the market. But there is one complaint that I definitely will do here. The maximum brightness possible on this particular laptop is just 250 nits on the base model. The other models will get 300 nits of brightness. Now 250 nits is more than enough in this particular scenario where the lightings, home lighting scenario may no issue. Nahi aega. But as soon as you go outdoors, Aapko display itna bright nahi dikhega. If you are sitting opposite to a window or if there is harsh sunlight coming into your room, then 250 nits of brightness may not be enough. That's something which you need to keep a note of. If you are going to work outdoors a lot, then maybe get another laptop which has higher 300, 350 nits of brightness in my opinion. So this is the webcam sample directly from the Tough Dash F15. I was just sitting here to shoot the arrow and I'm now here. I'm recording the audio with this particular phone as well because I shot this already two, three times to take multiple takes and all. And then I heard it back. I was like, yeah, the audio quality, yeah, particular monitor. monitor ka kuch aise, uh, sorry, not monitor, laptop. Ka kuch aise hai. Uh, I have not enabled AI noise cancellation. There are AI noise cancellation modes directly in there. But the mic quality should have been better in my opinion. The laptop does not have any fingerprint sensor. The laptop does not have Windows Halo support. Uh, so you, you will have to enter your password every time you enter into the laptop when it comes to speakers the speakers are surprisingly good between all the tough laptops that I've used this definitely has one of the best speakers few things which I have to mention type C 100 watt charging support is present so you can use your phone's charger if uh, Dolby Atmos support is present here I did I guess I did not mention that and high-res audio is also present 
uh, other than that i don't think so i need to mention something other than mux switch oh my god how did i miss this mux switch is very important when it comes to gaming and that is present in this particular top dash f15 and all this is the base variant which has mux switch so imagine other laptops obviously all the laptops have mux switch which is always a plus point because you are going to get better performance better power efficiency when you use a mux switch and you do not use the internal graphic and you directly talk to the graphic card that's the plus point so huge thumbs up to asus for that now let's talk about the keyboard and trackpad so this is a full size keyboard which is always always a welcome change because the g14 which we have in the studio does not have full size display the pc that i use my keyboard with has a full size display now having full size display is always a welcome change by me the keyboard feels nice to type on i mean long hours of uh, typing session should be fine uh, assuming you are a gamer and gamers lene wale ye laptop so WASD keys are like marked white matlab territory ekdam marked hai unka now the best part about this laptop is that when we did like gaming tests and gaming on this particular laptop the laptop did not become warm in the keyboard area WASD keys were always cool even the hand area where the hand will touch on the laptop that was always cool to touch i mean it did become slightly warm just warm not hot at all the top part of the laptop definitely became hot like i there is no doubt about it it was hot but that's going to happen with all the gaming laptops and uh, this particular one as the wasd keys did not become hot that's a thumbs up from my side the laptop comes with wi-fi 6 support obviously now when it comes to ports you get one lan port one hdmi 2.0 port one thunderbolt 4 usb type c port is also present here which means that you can have your displays connected via this type c port you can also use the hdmi port for that now you also get another usb type c 3.2 gen 2 port which also supports display output you can use power delivery chargers with this particular port and it will charge the laptop g sync monitors are also supported with this particular usb type c port now you are also going to get two usb 3.2 gen 1 type a ports and one headphone jack is obviously present on this laptop now my expectations from 3050 graphic card were not that high i would say because uh, even though this is rtx 3050 the performance of rtx 3060 or 3070 is oh, i mean obviously it is going to be better but the 3050 definitely surprised me the performance was really good in a lot of games you can get more than 100 fps with high settings with medium settings it can go to 130 140 fps in games like cs go the performance was like uh, i do not even need to talk about that if you play those fps games such as cs go uh, apex legends ya fir fortnite ya fir uh, now valorant khel liya to you are going to get more than 100 fps with any setting possible but you can easily match the refresh rate of your display with high settings or medium settings in all these games so that's the biggest plus point in my opinion now when it comes to triple a titles like let's say red dead redemption 2 the performance is going to take a hit obviously 3050 is not a powerful enough uh, gpu to handle all these triple a games but still it kept its own and the overall performance i would say was uh, we expected about 60 70 fps and it did perform really good we, now we changed the settings and tried red dead redemption 2 at the lowest setting possible and this was the difference between the medium settings i would say and the lowest setting possible so if you want performance you can get performance out of this laptop now when it comes to heating performance or heat management or the fan performance the obviously the laptop is going to become loud but it is not as loud as i would say the g14 that we have uh, that's that was quite surprising the performance on g14 is different and uh, the gpu processor uh, everything is different but still the loudness of the laptop was i would say slightly lower as compared to the other laptops that we have tested in this particular segment when it comes to gaming now when it comes to video editing that is going to be a tricky question because if you ask someone who is a creator and video editing is your primary aim then i would recommend you to go to i7 variant of this particular laptop or you can look at large generation amd variants of this laptop or other laptops which will give you better processing power uh, and you will get 3050 around that so you may get better editing performance in those other laptops but this laptop if you are keen on video editing then you can easily do 1080p video editing no issues over there but if you try to do 4k video editing right now the video that you are watching this particular video which is being played in the premier pro in the tough dash f15 the playback is smooth this is a 4k video but uh, when it comes to editing as soon as you add effect as soon as you edit the video 
the experience is going to change while editing the laptop is going to lag a little bit because the laptop is not powerful enough to handle 4k video editing that smoothly and i guess that's pretty much it for this particular video and our thoughts on the tough dash f15 if you still have any more doubts or queries regarding this laptop let me know about that in the comment section box below or you can tweet it to me at the underscore tech so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching